Welcome in Belgium. Good morning. Well, this is also my friend. This is my king. So sweet. Welcome to Cindy's World, where each week we answer fan questions of any kind from her Twitter account, or at least catch up with her and find out what has been happening in her world from Belgium, or wherever she may be. This week... We've got the next one then for you, um, which is, uh, this is also from uh, Is Metal, and it says, if you could choose one weight class to compete in the UFC, um, would you choose 135 or 145? I think we covered this one before as well. 145, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is Rob. Um, <laughs> You, you, you might not remember Rob. This is um, remember them going way back to the first one where um, this is the same guy that asked for Misha's number and then he asked for your number. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that yeah. one. And so you, you said like um, I think that like Misha has like a dog and a cat and stuff like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It says um, Rob says Cindy, we will stay together forever once you get married. And he says, you said, uh, you said anything. <laughs> like, he's going to ask questions, anything. No, say it again. He says, we'll Lost we... my focus. Yeah, no, you're right. He says, Rob says, Cindy, will we stay together forever once we get married? <laughs> oh. So he's still Are trying. we getting married? He's still asking Oh, is question. he still trying? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> tell, him, tell him that he, he has to be sure there is a big chocolate cake, otherwise I'm not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> and a fridge full of cheese. <laughs> there has to be cheese and chocolate cake, otherwise I'm not showing up on my wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> so handle that first, and, and then we can do what you say, because he, he might just put some like you know, he mm-hmm. might uh, end up with a big chocolate cake and cheese for you. I, I need I need proof and and little little check taste before <laughs> before yeah, I that, say that's, it. That's that's more like it. Though. So you need you need proof of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hmm I need proof of cheese. Not of love, proof of cheese is enough for me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Alright, uh, next one is Manuel A. Jimenez? Jimenez G. I'm sorry I'm butchering that name. Um, which is your favorite submission and throw? So I know we go with last time your favorite submission was a triangle, so which is your favorite throw? My favorite throw is Sasai Surikomiyashi. Oh, you're going to have to break that down for me. Sasai Tsuri Komiyashi. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing that is the... That head uh, throw? No. Sasai Tsuri Komiyashi is when you grab the wrist and you turn in your full body and then you use your hips to throw them over. I have to go very quickly, but it's nice, I love it. That's how it's really coming, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, will do it, I will do it, yeah, I can do it this week and uh, send you a little video if you want to. Are you sure? Okay, I will, I can, cool. yeah, yeah I, can, cool. I can, I can throw one of the guys in my gym, no problem. Yeah, throw, throw, throw Ethan around. They love it that I throw them around. <laughs> they love it, they're like, oh, please, you need, throw me some more. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Hi, hi please. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, we'll go to the next one is from uh, David Reeves. He says, before a fight, what emotions do you like? Uh, sorry, what, yeah, what emotions do you like to have and which, if any, do you hate having? So, I have no emotions before I fight. Um, I guess I think he, he's probably referring to like, not just when you get into the cage, but like, you know, the build up, you know, like, so with the weight cutting. All, all the media and all the, you know, all the, the whole week. 
I think that's what he's referring to. Oh, what? Oh, I don't, I don't want to have any boyfriends nagging around my head about anything because I want to kill them and kick out, get them out of the window. So uh, I never, ever, ever, ever take a boyfriend again to my fight. Uh, not, not even the week before because I cannot handle it. That's one. So no, no, uh, no relationship bullshit before my fight, please. No. Yeah. No snuggling. No kissing. No. <laughs> ah okay, we're back. Um, okay, but so, for example, like, um, is there is there any like, for example, when you're weight cut or something like that, is there anything that you, um, uh, like, I mean, obviously, you hate weight cut, but is there any any like emotions that you go through all the time that you hate or that you like, you know, before the fights? Do you know what I mean? Or is it I, just routine? I, now? I no, it's not routine. If I have to cut weight, I feel like I die and I want to be a crybaby. And somebody <laughs> has to be there to wipe my tears <laughs> and pull me out of the sauna. And please massage my feet too because I get cramps. So th that's what Misha's for. <laughs> that's what Misha's for. Why do you think I'm keeping her? <laughs> I mean, like she's coming here, emptying all my fridge every day. I'm just like, oh, okay, because she still has to help me with my weight cut. I don't like her that much. <laughs> it's not that kind. <laughs> it's alright, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna say as long as she buys the cheese and there's cheese in the fridge, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh yeah. So I have to tell you a story. So one time she was like staying here and in the morning I go to my fridge and I see like somebody is been like pulling out things of the cheese with the fingers, like pulling, you know, like oh, little like fingers in the cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, picking at it and I was like to the kids like which one of the kids grabbed in the cheese? And she was like that would have been me. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least she owned up to it. That's, you know, that's, that's oh, yeah, cool. she's very honest. She could, yeah. have, she could have just been quiet, you know, and then, like, waited and waited. No, no, no. No, she took the full blame and did it again the day after, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> That's good. It's honesty. That's it's, uh, you can't beat that. You can't beat no. honesty. <laughs> I Even can't. when it comes to cheese. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll go to the next one for you. Um, this is uh, this is a regular person actually. This is Adam James Adam. He said, if you could uh, be one iconic woman from history for a day, who would you pick, uh, Cindy, and why? An iconic woman from history. Yeah. Who would I pick? And why? And it, and it, and it has to be somebody who was real? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it, can't be, it can't be a Disney princess. <laughs> so, so, so I can... Oh! <laughs> we? Uh, we Okay, let me think. Give me a second. You're An right. iconic woman, and it cannot be a Disney princess. That's a hard one. Yeah, um, let's. I, I'm gonna scare you, but let's pretend Disneyland doesn't exist for a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, now you, now you're pushing the wrong button. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> just, just for five minutes, pretend it doesn't exist. So who would it be? <laughs> okay. An iconic woman. Um, and it cannot be a Marvel character either. Okay. Uh, I, I think, yeah, we've got to stick with real life. We've got to, okay. we've got to go with the real life. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, then I would love to be Waris Diri. Hmm? Waris Diri. You don't know her? Kidding me? What? You never saw the movie Desert Flower? No. No? Okay, um, actually I'm teaching my kids about this subject. So I don't know if you know, but in a lot of places in Africa, women get circumcision yes, and it's very bad. Yeah. So they, they actually, they, they take their all female in individuality, they, they cut their, uh, uh, all, everything is removed, like the clitoris, everything. And then they sew the girls up uh, till they have a little, little hole left where they can pee out. And, uh, and have their periods out, but a lot of girls die from it because they lose a lot of blood and get infection, infection and they don't I do it like it, clean. Yeah, yeah. They do it on terrible, terrible way. Uh, so uh, actually this woman, she was very small when it happened to her and she uh, was um, 
she got like um, they found her like a husband like an over 60 year old man when she was like 11 or 12 years old like a little girl and she ran away all through the desert uh, to Modagi, Modagi anyway the desert yes. uh, to the big city in uh, Somalia in Africa and then she she was able to get to London and uh, to be a little helper there oh, and wow. she felt like yeah so she was like uh, she had like a very hard road and uh, at the end like she became a very important a very beautiful model and uh, they made movies about her and they let her work as a model really? and then and oh, then she cool. opened up yeah, then she opened up her mouth because uh, nobody knew about it that time and uh, they asked her like what was the day that uh, changed your life in a very big magazine and she told uh, told them like because they thought she would tell like they uh, uh, that changed my life because the day when the photogra photographer found me and everything she told her like they that changed my life was the day of my circumcision and then she started to uh, make um, She's starting to open the discussion for the, how do you say, like, BN, she's, like, she's yeah, topic about UN, like, yeah. yeah, and she was like a big, uh, she opened the topic and now she has her own foundation to raise money uh, to stop this cruelty yeah, and to like, yeah, so yeah, I admire this woman I and uh, she's a big I will probably recognize her when I look her up. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah, you, you gave, she has her own book like, uh, of my little body and uh, desert flower that's her own story and uh, it's yeah. like the first yeah I'm just it's hard but I'm, it's a, I'm really surprised I haven't it's not like ringing in a bell but then again it is no hard. it is still it's a, it's a hard, it's a hard topic any, and, <laughs> and it's still something that's like uh, sadly not happening a lot and um, I'm teaching my kids uh, about it um, well, it's, for it's the moment like the, um, so I can't remember the, the the boy's name, but there was a boy in Afghanistan, and um, you know how they get the boys get sold into slavery, like like sex. Oh yeah. Sex, you know, like. Um, oh yeah. yeah. That happens and, still a lot. And was, and women like what is Diddy? It happened to them, so it's terrible that happened to them. But they found the courage to talk about it and to put it in the in the spotlight, so people know. Because if people don't know, they cannot do anything about it. So. Yeah. yeah, well, that, that's that, again, and see, this is the thing. I can't, I, it's horrible. I can't even remember the, the kid's name, but he um, he escaped when he was, I think, seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. And um, then what he did was he he started like a um, not a foundation, but like he started like a little group of, of people that would come in and rescue mm -hmm. all, like you know, they would come in with uh, okay. rescue all the all the mm -hmm. people, and he freed like thirty thousand kids, you know. But then he then he got okay. to die. But it was such a yeah. you know heartbreaking story because you know he spent his whole life mm -hmm. trying to free everyone else. You know? Yeah, for sure. So I'll have to I'll That's have to look her up then. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, I'll know once I should. see the face. Yeah, I'm sure I'll know. Yeah. Mm. That's very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Well then. Uh, oh, here we go. The next one. Well, this this will remember. Uh, uh, relate to uh, Misha as well because it says this is from Amber and it says do you think you will plan to move to America <laughs> so I think oh. I think if uh, Misha is not in America I don't think you would go to America <laughs> no uh, well if Misha would not be in America I would not no I'm thinking about moving for sure yeah I'm yeah. thinking about if, if I can make this all work to like at first buy a house close to Misha and uh, like go uh, like both ways, uh, like sometimes Belgium, sometimes United States, and s slowly, slowly, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, is this kind of like what we talked about in the last episode, like after you get a few things under your belt and then maybe look towards mm -hmm. doing something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah, it's mostly about uh, like uh, financial that I, I'm not able to for the moment, but like if I'm getting financially stronger, like for sure I want to buy a house in, uh, in the United States and uh, yeah. yeah, and does that, <laughs> does that mean that you would um, train at Extreme Couture then, I guess? Would that be... Probably, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I was just going to ask the next question, but it looks like I answered it. Um, it says, this is from Amber, <laughs> it says, mm. which US camp will, will you train for your UFC fight? <laughs> I think I just yeah. answered it. If, if if I would be in the US, I would train with Couture's, but now I'm in Belgium, so I have to train with Perfect Team. 
Yeah. 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 And um, now, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. Is um, Heather Heather Clark? Is it Stream Couture as well? Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically like all of you guys are. You know. Yeah, and and Gina Gina Mazzano is also in uh, in Couture. Oh, is she? okay. Yeah, oh. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it makes it easy for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, moving along to the next one then. Um, this one is from Mark uh, Benton. I'm really getting lucky with these names. They're all easy this week. It's a good day for you, no? Yeah, I know. I was struggling last week. Um, okay. It's uh, he says. I thought there would be more awesome questions than this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, questions no longer being answered. Wasn't that my question, by the way? I don't even know what that means. So, Mark, if you don't know question to ask, I'm sorry, I guess we can't really call it an awesome question. Let's move on. Mm. Um, next one is from Melvin. Um, and Melvin says, I have a chronic illness. Uh, uh, I can never pronounce the illnesses properly. Uh, Sicoldiosis. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not sure if that's correct, Mar uh, Melvin. How do you push past pain to train? Some days I can get, uh, I can't get out of bed. Well, there you go. Um, even I can relate to that one. Um, mm -hmm. So there you go. Um, so I guess yeah. So. Um, if I cannot get out of my bed to train, I just don't get out of my bed, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm lucky, like, I, I don't have many in injuries, so I'm lucky with that. Uh, but if I have, like, small injuries, injuries I I use reflex spray. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, what, what I think I might, um, I'll, I'll take it on board as in, like, um, because obviously, like, I have, um, like, a chronic disability, like, mm. so... Yeah, I don't, re I cannot really relate yeah, or so imagine. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll trans, so. like, I think what he's trying to ask, and I'll put it into my words, maybe. Um, so, like, for example, um, if he's got a chronic illness, which he says, um, there's some days where you just, um, uh, how do I put it? It just drags on and on and on and on. So I guess what he's trying to say is how do you stay um, motivated on the hard days? Like those really hard days that just, you, you know, when you get those hard days. Yeah, because because I have my kids where I'm doing it for. Yeah, okay. So, so it comes down to I the just, kids and the family and yeah. And it is, I have a lot of people to support. And if I'm not doing what I have to do, Nobody gets support, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fair enough too. Okay, cool. Um, all right, and then the next one is from, uh, we've got two left, by the way. Next one is from Daniel Ortman. Um, and Daniel says, what countries do you still want to visit? Is there any martial arts you still want to learn? Oh, and then he says, finally, are you a cat or dog person? Which you're obviously both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a boat person. I love cats. Like, in general, I like cats more than dogs. If I come somewhere, I usually like the cats more than the dogs. But I have my own dogs who I adore above everything. So um, I like both. I cannot say I'm a cat or a dog person. I love cats and I like uh, I love dogs. So I don't know. I just think the, uh, animals are great. Uh, that's one. Dan, what country I still would like to visit? Yeah, it says, uh, what countries do you still want to visit and are there any other martial arts you still want to learn? So, in other words, um, are there any specific martial arts within MMA mm. that you still want to learn as well? Okay, um, martial arts I still want to learn. Um, so, for example, like... Yeah, uh, I, I would Shido like to have or, learn... You know, I think Sambo thumb, wrestling. Sambo wrestling is something yeah. that intrigues me very well very hard like i really like that i would like um if i find some time like learn that more um and a country i still want to visit uh is uh hawaii i really want to visit and um how is the name again um where they have mardi gras oh, in brazil 
no Mardi Gras the festival that I don't know where it exactly is. Misha, where is the Mardi Gras festival in, in America? Yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, New, sorry, yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, I'm thinking of the other um, festival. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That I really want to see. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what was it? Sorry, New, uh, New Orleans and um, uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, now the lucky last question is from uh, Atagan, I think it is. So sorry if that name is wrong. Uh, and it says, my daughter uh, loves karate, brown belt. Um, she is mm -hmm. not okay with BJJ training. Do you know how to make Grappling comfier for girls. So, in other words, do you have any advice to make, you know, BJJ or grappling more fun for her? Um, yeah, I I know like uh, a lot of girls when they don't start at a very young age, it's hard to make the physical contact in the beginning. Uh, but I would um, tell him that like in the beginning, let her roll with other girls so she gets used to the physical contact, and when she knows a little bit what she's doing, she can. Uh, like roll with lighter guys, lighter guys, not the heavy ones, because then yeah, the strength sense. is not. Yeah, the strength is too much difference, and then uh, it's hard for her to handle it. So uh, yeah, that's that's my advice. But you know what? And that's something that like just a guy, like you know, like even someone, like not just myself, but probably just the average guy, wouldn't even think twice about. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And also avoid the little cocky guys. You know, the ones who are there want to be the <laughs> cock in the. Uh, in the, the rooster in the in the chicken yeah, thing, yeah, like yeah. just avoid those. You don't want to <laughs> roll with them if you are already don't feel very comfortable with rolling with guys. You don't have to prove anything against them. So yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right, well we got through all the questions, um, and I got them all done in order too this time. So uh, yay for me. <laughs> that is it. Good job. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I guess uh, we'll see you in uh, next week. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Bye, Aaron. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>